I built this plumbing AI agent that gets information from leads and then books them in 24 seven and gets information like this. An AI agent as advanced as this is easily worth over 1K per month to plumbers. I'm just gonna put a quick demo below of how it all works when it's finished. Yeah, I just would like to book in for an appointment. I want to get my bathroom done. Thank you for calling 24 Hours Active Plumbing. This is Ava. How may I help you? Is this an urgent plumbing problem or a regular appointment you want to book? Yeah, it's just a regular appointment. Could you please tell me what type of job you want done in your bathroom? Uh, I just want it completely renovated. I want everything brand new. Are there any additional notes or specific details that plumbers should know about the bathroom renovation? Yeah, there's a slight drip on my bathroom tap. Thank you for that information. Finally, could you please provide your street name, house number and city? Yeah, 123 Test Road and the city is school. Thank you for that information. Based on your description of a slight drop on your bathroom tap, it seems like a general plumbing issue rather than an emergency. I will proceed with booking a visit for your bathroom renovation. Is that something you'd be open to? Yeah. Excellent. Which day and time would work best for you to have a plumber come out? Um, probably next Tuesday. Great news, it looks like Tuesday, October 14th at 9.30am is available. Would you like me to book that for you? Yes. Great, I can book that for you. And what is your full name? Cuba March. Okay, Cuba March, just to confirm, I have you down for a free quote on Tuesday, October 14th at 9.30am. Is that okay? Yeah. Goodbye. There are two main steps when it comes to building AI agents. There is the voice AI and then there's the automated backend. And we're going to start with the voice AI side. What, I, what you want to do is go over to a website called vapi.ai and create an account. After you've done that, you just want to go over to the assistance tab. You probably won't have any. And then after you've done that, you just want to click create a system. And from there, we're just going to call it a plumbing agent and we're going to keep it as a blank template. Then just come down and click create a system. Now from here, what I like to do is keep the provider at OpenAI and change the model to 4.1 mini. Now we do this because it's cheaper and it also it has a faster response time. Next, we're going to do the first message. Now, what this is, is as soon as you call the agent and it picks up the phone, this is what it's going to say. It can just be, it can just be really simple like, hey, thanks for calling, how can I help? What we're going to do next is the system prompt. And the system prompt is literally just instructions for the agent on how to structure the conversation it has with anyone. Now, this does get very technical, but it's just through hours and trial and error on how you get it perfect. Yeah, so if you go to my school community, go to classroom, our receptionist, plumber, here we can see the VAPI tools. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get the system prompt from there. So if you just use a basic one and not one like this, as soon as you call it, it's not really going to know what to do after the first few sentences. So you have to tell it very precisely what you want it to do. The next step is the voice. In fact, the next step that we're going to do is adjust in the voice. Now I like to keep the temperature at even, leave it at 0.5 or put it to 0.4. What exactly the temperature does is how much it's going to follow and sway off script like creatively. So I like to just leave it at 0.4 because it's like the best balance. For the voice, you can use any one you want. I like to use 11 labs, although sometimes it does glitch out, but I just find it sounds the best. 
The one I use is Lucy and it's like a British woman, so yeah. And then I'll go over to additional configuration. This is just more settings if you use the 11 Labs one. And I'm just gonna turn the stability all the way up, the clarity all the way up and turn on speaker boost. And then we're just gonna publish it. I mean, it's a good to get into the habit of continuously publishing it because it just means that it's saving your work. Next, we've got to set up the tools. Now, you might not know what tools are. Tools are things we give, it to the, give to the agent so it can do specific actions, whether that be in checking if the slot's available, actually booking in jobs, sending reminders to the client, things like that. To create the first tool we're gonna to make, which is called Check Availability, we're just gonna go over to the Tools tab right here and create a completely new custom tool. Now for the tool name, we're just gonna go ahead and call it check availability, exactly like that. Or you can either go into the VAPI tools that's in the school, go over to check availability and copy it from there. Now from here, we're gonna go down to the parameters section. I like to switch it to JSON. And this is just gonna tell the tool what exactly information it needs to get and then send off to the automated backend. Now from here we're just going to copy this piece of code here and paste it into this section and hit apply. Then if you just change it back to visual if it comes up here then you know it's worked and now we just gonna... as you can see it says the initial search date time so this is going to be the time that the client says they want it to be. So this is going to be the time the client says they want the appointment to be at. And then the description is the target date for the availability search formatted into a time that the computer can understand. So if they say they want an appointment next Thursday, it's going to send next Thursday off and check if there's any available time slots on that day. So if we just go ahead and click save and create all the rest of the next tools. So next up, we're going to do the get date tool. This is because VAPI doesn't know what time or day it is. So we just use this to get the exact time and day it is. So VAPI knows for the rest of the conversation. Then as we've done before, we're going to go down to the parameters section, switch it to JSON, and then just paste in all of this information and then click apply. So as you can see for the description, get today's date from NAN. So that's the back end that we're going to be using in a minute. Just click apply and then save. Then the next one is going to be book appointment. And this is going to actually book in the appointment after the AI is confirmed it's available and the client wants to go ahead, it's going to go ahead and book in the appointment. So we're just going to name it that, head back over to the parameters section and paste in this very long piece of code. So there we go, as you can see, it's saying the additional, it's just, this is gonna be, all of these are gonna be the specific sections that it's gonna be getting, like the job type, the job notes, the home address. These are all things that it's gonna be collecting and you're just telling it to collect them. So you could, if you wanted to, change the name of these and the description to get custom info that you want. But then from here, we're just gonna click apply and then save. And then we're gonna come and create the final tool, which is gonna be Qualify Emergency Plumbing. Now, in the prompt, if the client is having an emergency, it's gonna send a notification to the plumber to call them back as soon as possible. Because if someone's got water coming out their ceiling, they don't wanna be scheduling appointments three days from now, they want someone urgent. So it will just notify the plumber straight away, and then the plumber can call them back. So we're just gonna copy the name, paste that in there, head down to parameters and paste in the code like we've been doing and apply. Now we're just gonna click save. Now that is all the tools, but at the moment it won't be sending them anywhere. So we need to sort out the back end. And for that, what I use is NAN. It's a platform that you can use for free if you self host it. Another option if you do not want to pay for NAN is make but I just recommend you pay for NIN because that's what I'm going to be going over. Now, from here, you're going to want to go, you're going to want to go to NIN 
and create a new workflow. Now you can get a two week free trial if you wanna just test it out. But from here, if you go to the school and grab my plumber NIN workflow and just download it, and then just open up NIN, import from file, and just select that video, and then just select that file that you've just downloaded, you'll see the back end. Now, as you can see, these are all the tools that we just created. So check availability, book appointment, get date, and the qualify emergency lead. Now, what happens is when VAPI sends that off, it will come through the webhook. It will then route by what the tool is called. So as we can see, we now check availability, book, get date, qualify. So it checks the value of what VAPI sends over. And if it's equal to that, it will then route. So if it's check availability, it will come up here, calculate all the potential slots, and then it will go get the Google Calendar, and then it connects to your Google Calendar, and then pulls out what slots are actually available, and then sends that information to VAPI so it knows what time slots are actually available. Now, what you wanna to do to connect your Google Calendar is just come up here, create a new credential, and sign in with Google. I'm gonna just use my business account. Uh, this is what I use for all my testing, but yeah. And then from here, just select your email, which will be right here, and just leave everything else the same. Now that you've made that credential, you can just come into this one. It should already be your credential. And you just wanna create, and you just wanna select your email again. And then from here, do the same here. And do the... And then you, for this, it's the same kind of principle. And then you just want to connect your Gmail account. Figure who you're going to send it to. We're going to come into this variables tab. Now, this is where you change a bunch of information, like the business name, what kind of service, your Twilio number, the client's email, and the plumber's phone number. So for testing, you're going to put your personal phone number, your email, and your Twilio number. Now, I'll just go a quick a quick bit over Twilio on how to uh, set it up and how to get your phone number. So if you just come to log in and log into your Twilio account. Now, yours will probably say trial. You just wanna make this a paid account and then go over to phone numbers, manage. After you've made a business, a regulatory compliance bundle, a personal one, you should be able to buy a phone number. Now, if you're in the UK, it depends where you're from, but I'm from the UK, so it's plus four four, United Kingdom. And you just wanna buy any phone number you want. Then after you've bought that phone number, if you come over to account dashboard, you'll be able to see the phone number. You'll be able to see your account SID and auth token. And also if you come here, you can see your active phone number. So what you wanna do is you wanna copy this account SID come over to NIN, go into these Twilio tabs, create a new credential, and then put in your account SID here, and then go back, get your auth token, and paste it in there. And then from there, after you save it, your, your Twilio will be verified. You just need to put the number that you purchased in here. I mean, in here, sorry. So if I just wanna put my email here, my personal one. Then what you wanna do is after you've done that, you just need to open all the Twilio tabs just so it creates the credential for you and there's no errors. Okay then, after you've configured all of that, just click save, make the workflow active. This is very important. Come down here, go to the production URL and this makes it so that Every time something is sent here, it triggers the workflow. You don't need to manually do it, so it's very important. You're just gonna click to copy, come back to VAPI, and click on the tools you just created. Scroll down to where it says server settings, and this is where you're gonna put in your NIN server. And you're just gonna do that for all of them quickly. Then we're just gonna create one final tool, which is gonna be the end call tool. You don't need to put any code or anything in here. It's just so the AI agent is able to end the call on its own. And then so that the agent can actually use the tools, we're gonna to go to the assistance tab, head over to the agent we created earlier, go to tools, 
and then select all the tools that we just made. So it'd be one, two, three, four, five. Then we just want to publish that. From here, you can actually just talk to the assistant if you haven't set up Twilio yet. But if you have, you want to come over to phone numbers here and set that up and then connect the agent to that phone number. And then now I'm going to show you what it will look like if you were to use it. Yeah, I just would like to book in for an appointment. I want to get my bathroom done. Thank you for calling 24 Hours Active Plumbing. This is Ava. How may I help you? Is this an urgent plumbing problem or a regular appointment you want to book? Yeah, it's just a regular appointment. Could you please tell me what type of job you want done in your bathroom? Uh, I just want it completely renovated. I want everything brand new. Thank you. Are there any additional notes or specific details the plumbers should know about the bathroom renovation? Yeah, there's a slight drip on my bathroom tap. Thank you for that information. Finally, could you please provide your street name, house number and city? Yeah, one, two, three, test road and the city is school. Based on your description of a slight drop on the bathroom tap, it seems like a general plumbing issue rather than an emergency. I will proceed with booking a visit for your bathroom renovation. Is that something you do? Yeah. Excellent. Which day and time would work best for you to have a plumber come out? Um, probably next Tuesday. Great news, it looks like Tuesday, October 14th at 9.30am is available. Would you like me to book that for you? Yes. Great, I can book that for you. And what is your full name? Cuba March. Okay, Cuba March, just to confirm, I have you down for a free quote on Tuesday, October 14th at 9.30am. Is that it? You're correct. Yeah. Goodbye. As we can see here, it's just booked me in. Obviously, it doesn't have the phone number because I didn't call in this time, but it's got everything, all the test details and the home address, and it's booked it in correctly. Well, if you want all the presets and templates that was used to build this, just come over to my school community that will be in the bio, then go to classroom, AI receptionist, and it will be right here. Subscribe if you want to see more tutorials and I'll see you in the next one.